What if you could design your house in your browser just like in The Sims? That's exactly what Pascal is building, a 3D home editor that creates actual data APIs for buildings. Imagine realtors walking clients through homes, contractors planning renovations, or homeowners redesigning their space all in the browser. A few weeks ago, they brought me in as their 3 js specialist. We are still in early development, so I'm documenting the technical challenges we solve as we build the project from the ground up. Today's challenge seems straightforward, adding doors and windows to walls. Let me place this door here. It disappeared in the wall. I could increase its thickness, but we want to see through the wall. We need to cut a hole through the geometry and not just a rectangular one. We need it to respect the object shape. This starts a new series where I show you real client work, the actual problems we face and solutions we implement building production 3D application. Let me show you how we solved cutting through walls using CSG operations. To see the best way we can solve this problem, I have prepared this simple project for you. Let's transform this cube we have here into a simple wall. We can reduce the thickness, make it even longer, or maybe it's too much, make it even more thinner, whatever you prefer for the aesthetic. Now, before trying with a complex shape, we will see how from this box geometry, this mesh that will represent our wall, we can add a hole inside it. So let's create a simple box geometry that will be our fake window for now. It is here, it's maybe too small. Okay, let's say here we want to have a window instead of this. If I put it transparent, for now we still have the wall that is visible. We want to see through the wall. In Blender or in any CAD tool, you would use a Boolean operator to delete this box from the wall. Luckily, there is this library named 3BVH CSG that is doing exactly that for 3JS on geometries. CSG is for constructive solid geometry and it allows us to combine different elements to build a geometry or as we want here to subtract things from it. This one is the vanilla 3JS library and as our project is using React 3 Fiber, there is this wrapper library named React 3 CSG to simplify the process by using declarative syntax. We add it into our project. And now, instead of directly using this box geometry, we will use the geometry component from the library. Inside, we will add the base, which is what we are currently using, our box geometry here. And now, what we are able to do is to use the subtraction component that will take also a geometry and subtract it from the base. Let's take what we got here, put it here, we can remove it from there and save. And here it is, we have a hole on our wall. If you need to adjust, for example, the position of it, you can use the usual props, it will work. But if you need to visually, visually understand what is going on, you can use show operation and it will display it. Useful, for example, when you are building it. If you want a special color for the box, you can define the material for each of them. But when you do it, you need to define use groups and it allows you to use different material on the different parts. This way with show operation, I can see what we are doing. Let's set it transparent and have opacity. And now we successfully see through the window while still seeing the operation we are doing. Let's put it back below. Position zero, I need to reload and perfect. This is for a simple geometry. We can also use a different geometry, for example, a sphere geometry. And now we have a circular shape into our wall. Maybe it's too big. OK, better. And if you want to hide it, simply stop the show operation and you have a lovely hole on your wall. 
but windows or doors or whatever you want to put on your wall are more complex than a rectangle or a circle. Let's type a window and we have many that would work using just a rectangle, so keep the simplest shape you can. Let's take one that is a bit more complex. For example, this one here. It's like a triangle and a rectangle. Let's download it and let's try to make it work with our project. Once you have downloaded it, put it in your models folder. For now, we will just add it on top of our mesh. So here it's the wall and we want to have our window. We can use GLTF simply. It's in models window. Okay, we need to adjust its position. Let's say 0 0.5. Okay, then the scale is too small and the rotation is off. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. It seems fine, but the, um, the hole is definitely not what we are looking for here. We can see through, but the edges are incorrect. Let's open the model into Blender to see what we have, because what we want is to extract the geometry. Here, what we have is one mesh, one geometry, but because it has three materials, when we will export it to GLB, we will have three different geometry. And for the calculation, the resources it will take are too much, because if we look in wireframe, you can see it has a lot of vertices, which are not helping us with what we are doing. For our project to be as lightweight as possible, what we can do is build a simple shape that outline it without all the details we have here, which are irrelevant for building the whole. Okay, let's build it. Uh, what we see here is like a cube, a rectangle with a triangle on the top. How do we achieve it? We add a cube. It's too big. Let's scale it down. I'll put myself in wireframe mode. It will be easier. First, we can scale it properly on the z-axis, somewhere like that. On the top, we want to align it too. Perfect. On the right, we can scale it with the z-axis. We can be a bit bigger, it's not a problem. We want to go through the wall. All right, this part here it's not important because it's outside the wall. And then if we go back in front view, it's a bit difficult to see it, but here you have the triangle. We simply add a loop cut that we position here where we will have the triangle. Then we take the top of our window. We scale it to have the triangle as much as possible. We could even merge here the vertices. Let's see in material preview what we have. And it seems perfect, a simple shape to then be able to dig the hole inside our wall. Okay, let's go to object mode and export only this. The so file export GLB. We have window, we can name it window uh, geometry but in the end I think on the final models that we will use we will include both in the same file with a naming convention but just for the tutorial let's keep it simple I will export only selected objects so only my cube I will compress it and export now if I use gltf.poimandress to see what our file is made of we can see we have only one mesh with nodes.cube.geometry. This is what we will want to use. Okay, let's get it from our file. Use GLTF window geometry. And now what we will subtract instead of being this sphere geometry, we can remove it. We will pass geometry is equal to what we copied, nodes.cube.geometry. Perfect. Now we can see it's doing something, but it seems wrong. And this is because we are applying transform on the base model. We can use show operation to see clearly what it is doing. And we can see that the rotation and positioning is uh, wrong. 
So let's simply copy what we are using on the main model, also on the subtraction. All right, better, we don't need the position Y because it's already on the mesh. And here it is, we have the hole on our wall. Let's get rid of show operation. Now we can see through, maybe the wall is too thick or our window is not perfectly adapted for this. Maybe we can polish it a bit more because we don't need to be perfectly outside of it. Let's go back to Blender in wireframe mode. Edit mode. We can see I wasn't very precise, so I can go a bit uh, thinner. Maybe on the top too, just a little bit. And now export it again. The settings should be saved, so we just have to press export. We try again and it's much more convincing. Here this side, I should edit the base model, but here we can see that we see the grid behind, which means we properly see through the mesh. Thank you for watching, I hope you like this new format. Let me know if you have questions about the project for the upcoming episodes. Want to build production 3D apps like this? My React 3 Fiber course teaches you the exact techniques that I use in client work, from performance optimization to complex 3D interactions. Through hands-on projects, you will build real applications and gain the confidence to tackle any 3D challenge. Link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe for more devlogs and tutorials and check out this video next to continue your 3D journey.